All right, guys. Hey, what's up? I'm uh, gonna break down one of uh, one of our crosses for you. I actually had broken it down um, on film here, and I uh, noticed that it was all like staring way down here. Um, so <laughs> had one video way up here, one video way down there. This time, I'm just gonna hold the damn thing so that we're uh, we get this right. <laughs> okay. Um, the uh, the cross that we're gonna go over is this cross right here that I showed you yesterday. Um, it's basically a bell. Um, albino female that's head for eclipse crossed to a tug snow that's head for radar. Um, so basically what we're going to do is I'm going to break it down for you guys um, so you can see what's going on. I'm just going to go over all this stuff again real quick for you um, so that I don't have to rewrite it and stuff like that. But uh, this way you'll actually be able to see what the heck... Um, what, what the heck's going on instead of having the camera pointed in the wrong direction. Alright, so our female. Um, our female is a bell hat radar or um, uh, head eclipse. Uh, basically, in the first video, I crossed out the radar and said that basically it's a bell albino that's head for eclipse just to make it a lot easier. Um, so what our animal is, is a visual albino um, from, the, uh, from the bell strain. Um, and it's head for the eye pigmentation, which is the eclipse. It's going to be a lot easier uh, just holding this freaking camera so that I don't mess this up again. All right. Our male is a tug snow head for radar. And what I basically did was you break the radar down into... Um, so basically it's a tug snow head for bell and head for eclipse. Um, because that's basically what a radar is, is a bell eclipse. All right. So on this side, um, it's the dominant uh, tug snow. And uh, so basically you breed a tug snow to anything, half the babies are going to be snow. Um, so that's where the, the dominant thing comes out. Um, the other part is it's also head for bell and it's head for eclipse. All right. So what we're going to do is out of this cross right here, um, what I want to create is basically, um, actually I come from this angle so that the so that the lighting's a little bit better for you guys, so you're not, uh, you know, staring into the glare there. Um, basically, out of this animal, or this cross, what you want to get is a tug snow radar, um, which is actually a, th a three-bang animal, and uh, I'll show you how we break it down just so that uh, you know what the percentages are and stuff like that, what the fractions are and all that fun stuff. All right, basically, um, you got the tug snow gene um, that you want to get out, which basically half of the babies will be tug snow on average. Um, that doesn't mean that uh, you're going to hatch out, you know, half the babies tug snow or anything like that. Um, actually, whenever I first started working with the Mac snow, which uh, half the babies, um, you know, should be Mac if you breed a Mac to anything, um, the first 20 babies I didn't hatch out of snow. Um, so, I mean, it could be very, very bad odds, or you could get very, very good odds and hatch out almost all tug snows. Um, but basically, half the babies are going to be snow, and half the babies are going to be non-snow. Um, we just call them non-snow um, because the, they're visually what they are. Um, it can't be a head or anything like that, so you just say that they're basically a non-snow. Um, the next uh, genetic that we're going to um, need is our bell albino to be in it. Um, and from uh, our two crosses that we got, one animal is a bell, and the other animal is a head for bell. So basically what you're going to do is do your uh, visual cross to a het, um, which half of the babies um, will be what you want them to be, the, the visual. Um, so right here we got uh, half the babies are going to be bell, and half of the babies are going to be non-bell, but they will be het for bell. Um, so basically they're going to be... Um, let's just call this non-albino. Albino? Het for, het for bell. Just to make that a little bit simpler so that you guys uh, don't get confused or anything like that. All right, the next, uh, the next genetic that we want uh, to see if we can get out of it is the eclipse or the eye pigmentation trait. So basically, um, this one is het for it. And this one is het for it as well. Um, so you got your head to head cross. Um, what you do for your head to head cross 
um, is do your little square again, um, just like I showed you how to do in the uh, Genetics uh, uh, 100 video. Um, and what you're going to do is basically the N is going to stand for uh, non-eye uh, non pigment and the E will stand for the eye pigment. Um, the, in the last video, some of the comments were how do you know which, uh, which ones you want to have capital and which ones you want to have lowercase. Well, the capital ones are always your dominant ones uh, and your lowercase is always your recessives. So um, since the eye pigmentation is the recessive and uh, a normal look would be your dominant, what you want to do is have uh, basically this animal right here is what, uh, how, how you would write out a het um, because it, it looks normal, but it is carrying the eye pigmentation trait. So it's going to be any. So you got any cross to any. Uh, then whenever you do the square, you're going to have nn, any, any, and ee. -E. Um, so this one right here, that one's going to be your eclipse. Um, so that's what you're, you're looking for. So as you can see, it's going to be one out of four are going to be eclipse. Two out of four are going to be your hets. And then one out of four is actually going to be a non-het, which, uh, again, since uh, these all three of these are going to look normal, that's where your 66% comes in. So we're going to come back over here. And you got your uh, one-fourth are going to be your non-hets. You got uh, one-half are going to be your hets. Um, and then you do the... Uh, you put those together, it's going to be 66% HET because remember, you can't tell the difference between these two. There's no visual markers or anything like that that will tell you um, which ones are the HET, which ones are not. Um, your, uh, your visuals are going to be one-fourth. Uh, so one-fourth of them are going to be your visuals. All right, now let's go down to uh, breaking down the uh, what's... Uh, the, the fraction of how many, one out of how many babies you would get, uh, what you're trying to get. All right, so basically from up top here, you got the, uh, the one half will be snows, so that's right there. You got the one half will be the bells, which is right here. And then you got the one, uh, one quarter are going to be your visual uh, eye pigmentation. So there's your eye pigmentation. So right there, what you want to do is, all these are ones, so whenever you multiply those, it's always going to be a one. Uh, just because one times one is one, one times one is one, and you just keep going. So basically, whenever you, whenever you uh, multiply these out, uh, we got uh, two times two, which is going to be four. And then times four again is going to be your 16. So it's going to be one out of 16 babies, on average, are going to be your tug snow radar. Um, so that is trying to get your major, major cross right there. Um, the other things, though, is that uh, you can get multiple um, things out of this cross as well. I mean, you can also get uh, plane radars, which is one out of eight, because you kind of kind of cancel out this tug snow because all you're really working with is the bell and the eye pigmentation. So with the bell and the eye pigmentation, um, you got one half times uh, one fourth. So one half times one fourth is one eighth. Um, and that's how you can tell that that's uh, what your percentage is, is, or your percentage is for getting a radar. Um, as far as like uh, getting a tug snow bell albino out of this cross, um, that's going to be where your uh, one fourth is actually going to be um, what's, what the percentage would be for, or the, uh, the fraction would be for that, because you got uh, one half your babies times one half. Uh, so one half times one half is going to be one fourth. Um, the other thing that you can get out of this is uh, tug snow eclipses, um, which are probably going to look like a max snow eclipse, but it's still something that uh, you can also get out of this cross. And they're not only going to be uh, uh, tug snow eclipses; they're also going to be het for bell because the female was a het or was a was a visual as well. So to get that cross, you're actually looking at uh, the one half times one fourth, which is the one eighth. So um, this could equal 
the radar or equal a tug eclipse. All right. But uh, whenever your female only lays on average about uh, eight eggs, um, that's where the, the eight on this side came from whenever I was explaining it, uh, one out of 16, it is a stretch. Um, it, uh, it, will, it will be kind of hard to hit the odds on this. Um, but uh, like I said before, you got to go big or go home. Um, and this is how you do some of the crosses that uh, they, they have, you know, three, four genetics in them, is you got to try to get the genetics um, to, to line up for you. Um, you know, sometimes they do, sometimes they don't. But at the same time, you're going to get babies uh, that vary, very, or very, very greatly. <laughs> um, which, uh, I mean, even from this cross, you could technically get a normal looking animal that is het for bell as well. I mean, because you could uh, miss it on the eye pigmentation, you could miss it on the tug snow, and you could actually miss it on the bell as well, and then you would just be left with a het bell. Um, so, I mean, you could get uh, animals that look pretty, pretty normal out of this cross as well, um, which uh, those are always good for, uh, for like your lower end animals for selling and stuff like that as well. Um, it's actually uh, pretty hard to hit the all normal one. It's uh, just the same. Uh, it's a one out of sixteen to hit the the normal that's het for bell um, out of this cross as well. So I mean, there's there's definitely a, a, a huge range of what you can get from this cross right here. Um, if you want to know what uh, what all sixteen of these animals are, you can always go to the uh, uh, morph calculator. I'm sure you could plug this stuff in. Um, and just use, uh, you could actually use Max Snow instead of Tug Snow in it, um, just because you're not, uh, just make sure you're not using the super form. Um, but, uh, yeah, this is how you break down, um, that, uh, cross that I just showed you. Um, hope you like this video. Hopefully it's all, like, uh, in front of you here. We don't have too much glare, um, because we've had, uh, quite the problem with, uh, the videos today. Um, so, uh, hopefully you guys kind of got that. I know I went over it pretty fast, uh, but that's how you, uh, um, break down multiple genetic animals, uh, as, um, for figuring out, uh, the, uh, the, per the fraction or the percentage of what you, uh, what you're going to get. Um, this is a, a fairly simple one with the three different genetics. Um, I'll actually go through and do a four or five genetic animal for you as well, just so you guys can see the uh, the huge difference in um, the, uh, the the percentages and stuff like that. Um, but I uh, hope you guys have a good day, and I'll talk to you soon.